Hi, today I'm going to show you how to how to use a scroll view on a Xcode 4.5. So first we're going to create a new Xcode project. And we're going to create a single view application. And the product name, I'm going to call it scroll view tutorial. And device will be iPhone. We're not going to use a storyboard for this one, but we're still going to use automatic reference counting. And create your project. And in our view controller dot zip, we are going to um, add a scroll view. So look for your scroll view and just drag it onto onto your view con view controller. There. And I'm I made it a little bit smaller than my view. And I'm gonna change the background of my view. So click on your click on your view not the scroll view but the view and then just make it like any color you want so you can distinguish the difference between the scroll view and the background view and open up your assistant editor hide your utilities and control click drag your scroll view onto the header file and I'm gonna call this one my scroll view and connection will be an outlet, type will be a UI scroll view, and storage will be weak. And from there, what I'm gonna do is um, in our view controller implementation file, viewcontroller.m, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell them I'm gonna tell this this implementation file that I'm gonna create a um, I'm gonna create a method to instantiate the, not instantiate, yeah, to put the put a bunch of labels in the scroll view so you can see the scroll effects. So I'm gonna call it void um, put stuff, put labels in scroll views, put labels in scroll view, and I'm gonna pass it an int. Int will be the number of labels to put number of labels okay and we're gonna define that method here uh, void put label in scroll view and number of labels okay and here we already have a we already have a scroll view called my scroll view so I'm gonna have a for loop for int i equals zero condition i plus plus increment uh, actually i less than number of labels i plus plus um, and in our statement we're gonna create a bunch of ui labels so ui label label equals ui label alloc init init with frame and for our frame we're gonna do cg rect make and our x, I'm gonna always start my x at 25 and for my y um, our y is always gonna change because y will be the position of the height position of the label of where it's gonna be so I'm gonna create a, an instance variable here I'm gonna call it in y position and in our view did load, I'm gonna instantiate y position to be 25. So whenever the view controller loads, y position will always be at 25. So here I'm gonna do y position, and our CG float width will be um, width. Let's just make it 180. And our height, let's always make our height um, 70. Okay, so that's our label, and we are going to. Uh, after that, we're gonna add a add a label to our um, scroll view. So self dot um, what did I call it? My scroll view. Add sub views, and we're gonna add the label to our scroll view. And we are also going to increment our y position. Y position plus equals, I'm going to say plus equals 75. 
because what's going on here is every time you create a label you create a label with the X position starting at 25 and the Y position starting at uh, this Y position which is 25 and the width of your labels will always be 180 and the height will always be 70 so I'm incrementing the height the Y position by 75 so the next label that this for loop creates it will create it at a at a 75 like lower than the than this original height you can play around with these with this number or these numbers to see the to see the effects of um what changing the numbers does so that's that and we're gonna say self in the outside of the for loop self dot maestro view set set content um set content size the CG size we're gonna say CG size uh, make the width will be self dot um, self dot my scroll view dot width oh no dot um frame dot size dot width and our height will be um, our height will be Y position. Leave it like that, and in the end, we're going to add our scroll view to our main view. So self dot view, add sub view, and we're gonna add our self dot my scroll view. And I think that that should do it. Let's see. I hope we're not missing anything. Let's run it, and then we'll find out. Run it on our iPhone simulator. And let's see how that goes. Mm -hmm. Okay. See my little simulator popping up in the background. Okay. All right. So nothing's popped up yet. Let's see what we've missed. Um. Oh, maybe we we should set something with the label. Maybe it's already out. So let's say, um, let's set a scroll view background. So in here, say self dot my scroll view dot background color equals UI color uh, UI color red color. So I'm gonna say that for my um, view did load. And so we've set the background color. And from here, when we add a label, we should give the label like some kind of name. So label dot um, title. Oh. Label set. Let's see. Um, label label set text to be. Um, let's call it L A B. So we set the text of the label to be LAB and we've changed the background color of the scroll view to be red color. So let's run that and see if that does anything. Alright, so label.setText, self.myscrollView, add subview. Um, Label set set background color UI color to orange color. All right. Label self dot my scroll view add sub view in the end set content size self dot my scroll view instead of and then Y position. Alright. Oh, I know why. Oh, silly mistakes. We never we never call this method. <laughs> Sorry about that. Let's just say let's just call the put label in scroll view method. Call self um, put label in scroll view. And I'm gonna pass this uh, 15. Alright, so we're gonna create 15 labels. 
so run okay so there's our first label second label third label um, all the way up until 15 actually let me do this a little bit nicer so we don't have to count lab uh, percent D and our percent D will be I there we go then run it Oops. set text at lab percent D um, okay so this one we need to say um, string with format so set text we're gonna say um, an S string string with format and I'm gonna say label percent D and then percent D will be I there we go okay yeah objective C is kinda picky so you can't just um, do the formatter right here so you have to do it this way so run it on your iPhone 6 simulator and there's our label 0 all the way up until 14 should be there we go 0 to 14 so hopefully you've learned something new from my mistakes so a quick recap we added a scroll view here and so that's our scroll view and um, we made the background of the super view blue so that's that and in our code let's bring up the simulator side by side okay so in our code uh, we added this method called put label in scroll view so in this method it takes a number of labels so you pass it a number and then that number creates the number of labels so it creates uh, 15 different labels 0 to 14 and in a label um, I set the background to be orange and in my view did load self dot my scroll view dot background color is the red color so that's shown here and so we have um, we have created different labels at each of these positions while the Y position is is incrementing by 75 each time but the height of this actual label is 70 and the width of this label from here to here is 180 so that's that and outside of the for loop you need to set the content size sorry about that you need to set the content size here so the width the size is the width and length width and height I mean so the width is self dot my scroll view dot frame dot size dot width that's from here to here and our height is y position which is from which is from here to whatever our um, our y position is which is uh, this number here and then in the end just add your add your um, scroll view to your view and so that's the end of this tutorial hopefully you have learned something new about scroll views and how to dynamically add stuff and you can also add it instead of instead of the height you can also add width and you'll be able to scroll it um, sideways instead of only up and down all right thank you guys and i'll see you next time